Show me what you have become capable of, child. Shibai Otsutsuki, who achieved the form of a god, against Senshi Otsutsuki, the leader of the entire clan, who is part of the deity from whom all Otsutsuki originated. What kind of battle is this, and who are these two? Let's talk about it. Let's start with Shibai, mentioned by Amado in one of the chapters. This character was one of those who reached the divine form by consuming divine fruits. We know little about him, just a few facts. He was able to use any techniques without forming seals because the Otsutsuki use Shinjutsu. This is the highest ability to control chakra. With the wave of his hands, he created storms, and with a roar, lightning. Thanks to the thousands of absorbed planets, he evolved into a god, making his body unnecessary. His soul moved to another dimension. Somehow his body ended up with Ishiki, and experiments began. Shibai's genes were used as the basis for creating cyborgs that Amato made for Jigen. Even Ishiki himself used the deity's genes to enhance his karma and reincarnate with even greater power than he had before. The same eye we saw on him, judging by the information, is called Kokugan, which means black eye, and it belonged to Shibai himself. Ada's technique, omnipotence, the ability to observe everyone, the ability to fly, demon's technique, which can reflect anything, code scratches, all of these were derived from Shibai's genes. Amato transplanted this power into the DNA of his test subjects. Essentially, that's all we know about Shibai Otsutsuki. However, this character has become very popular on the internet. Although, in essence, we've only seen his silhouette, and we don't know exactly what he looks like. Even though I tried to depict his appearance in animation, we must understand that in canon, he will look completely different. We do not fully know what other techniques he had besides those that, thanks to his genes, were passed on to Amato's test subjects. Therefore, in my animation, I used only a small part of his power, namely, the form formation of a sphere, which the Otsutsuki have already demonstrated to us. And finally, Senshi, the leader of the entire clan and the father of all Otsutsuki. I have explained many times who this character is, but I understand that not everyone has watched my videos. Senshi Otsutsuki is not canonical, he is my own character that I created for my fan story. But on the internet, he has become quite popular, and many started anticipating his appearance in Boruto. Others began calling him Shibai, but this is not the case. If you see this character anywhere outside my two channels, the animation channel and this one, it's just someone using his appearance without knowing who this character is and what power he possesses. The only person who can say anything about him is me. For many who watch my animations and have followed this character's story, it was interesting to know who is stronger, Shibai, who was shown to us as invincible, or my character Senshi, who is the clan leader and, according to fan canon, is also practically invincible. According to my story, Senshi is part of one of the gods who went mad and challenged the other deities, causing many battles. However, many gods and their followers united and created a space with no entrance or exit, but before sealing this god, he managed to leave a piece of his power. Over time, this piece formed into a separate entity, which became Senshi. Thanks to his jogan, he could see through space and see the deity that was sealed. And that evil god commanded his small incarnation to free him. This is what Senshi began to do. I created my character in such a way that he repeatedly tried to free his creator, but when he failed, he would restart the universe and go to a new one, starting all over again. Thus dozens and hundreds of worlds formed, existing simultaneously, but with different events occurring in each. This was done so that every fan story could be connected to the canon. According to my idea, Senshi was even reborn in the canon, but now he is called differently and his consciousness is completely different. The canonical clan leader, who has not yet appeared, will be the same Senshi, who used his last strength to restart the universe and do what was beneficial to him. With each rebirth, the essence of the Atsutsuki clan, as well as its goal, changed. In the animation you saw at the beginning, this is the penultimate dimension before everything is restarted again and Senshi appears in the canon. Thanks to this character, I made it so that every viewer who created their alternative story for Naruto or Boruto would run parallel to the original story. Simply put, Senshi existed in each of the worlds that fans ever invented, and all the events there are only because Senshi was there and had a significant impact on the story, changing the events. This character is very powerful. I could tell you about his techniques and goals, but it would take a lot of time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to create a full-fledged battle in animation, but if you're interested 
interested in who is stronger between these two, Senshi Otsutsuki was created to always be stronger than any canonical Otsutsuki that appears. Senshi is neither alive nor dead. He looks through dimensions and sees the future. He arranges events in such a way that what he needs to happen, happens. He has a human form, which he used to integrate into the human world to understand their essence and take with him those in whom he saw potential. So, Senshi's defeat in the animation is only the first part of their battle, demonstrating a tiny fraction of the power of both characters, and a more large-scale battle was supposed to follow. However, unfortunately, I don't have time for this, as finances are needed to buy food and pay for services. I hope you watched the entire animation on the animation channel, and enjoyed the little reveal of this character here. As for Shibai, I look forward to seeing him in the Boruto anime. Write your opinion in the comments, I would be interested to read it. Good luck to everyone.